A second aircraft carrier, the USS Abraham Lincoln, has just arrived in the Middle East, taking station in the Gulf of Oman, not far from the Theodore Roosevelt strike group, who's been at sea for the past seven months. Earlier, Israel's new ambassador to the United Nations said this will help deter Iran. It sends a very clear message to the Iranian, stay out of it, stay out of uh, this uh, war. Uh, I hope they will listen to those uh, threats. Uh, but we need the support. Biden's top military advisor, the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, General C.Q. Brown, is in Israel Sunday to share intelligence and help coordinate efforts. He was in Jordan Saturday, as you can see here, meeting with his Jordanian counterpart. U.S. Navy now has two carrier strike groups in the region. Both came from the Pacific, leaving none there right now. The Navy has also positioned four guided missile destroyers in the eastern Mediterranean to protect the skies over Israel from incoming ballistic missiles from Iran or potentially Yemen. Guided missile submarine Georgia, armed with over 150 Tomahawk cruise missiles, also remains in the med. Here's New Jersey Democratic Senator Cory Booker earlier. We know the most urgent issue right now is ending this awful conflict in the Middle East, uh, bringing about a ceasefire and stopping this from expanding uh, to a wider arena. When it comes to those ceasefire negotiations, Senator Lindsey Graham had the following suggestion. If I were the state of Israel, I would tell the Ayatollah, if these people do not come home alive, the ones that are left alive, and if we don't get the bodies of the fallen, we're going to blow up your oil refineries. That's the only way you're ever going to get the hostages released, is to put pressure on Iran. While leaving the West Coast, President Biden ignored reporters' questions about this latest scrap between Hezbollah and Israel. The president begins another vacation on the East Coast at his Delaware beach house. And later, his national security advisor, Jake Sullivan, departs for Canada. At the White House, Lucas Tomlinson, Fox News.